Wethington photo. Um, and thank you for checking out this template. Um, this is an advanced template. This is going to be one for the the ones that know a little bit more about Photoshop. I, I will be able to help you get through it, but just the 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 warning is is if you're not terribly comfortable with Photoshop, this might not be the template for you. But it is relatively easy. But there are some sub, sim, special instructions that we need to pay attention to uh, down here, uh, namely the background subject layers have to be clipped to the layers that they're um, below uh, like this picture here it is clipped to this layer right here in order to clip it all you do and if you don't clip it this is what happens all you do to clip it is there's a couple different ways but the easiest way if you don't know is to go up to layer and then create clipping mask and then it just clips it right to the, the layer right below it. Um, you'll notice that all these are clipped right to the, the layer be, below it. Uh, the main one, the foreground one, that one's fine. You can just throw that one in right here on the red. And the rest of them are going to be the, exactly the same with the, the layers. The only thing we have to watch out for is clipping the background pictures to the layers below it. That's in order to make sure the colors stay the same. Uh, the colors, uh, same as before, uh, all the orange layers here, we can change the colors of. Uh, this one is for the one side of the ball. So this is a cool if you have a, a school with a couple different colors, because each side here we can control the, the colors of the ball. Um, like the school here locally, they, they have uh, blue and yellow. Uh, so I can mix it up with blue and yellow. But... Uh, the other school I use as an example is just maroon and white. So I, I tried to make the best I could with that, but that's that. Now just be sure to clip it and then um, stay within uh, within that. So it's pretty easy. Uh, sometimes what I was finding is that not all the photos uh, not all the photos blend just as well. So one of the things you can do is mess with the fill opacity, like this picture here of Layla, I got at 60%, but the one of Jade, I got at 78%. I noticed that using the fill layer and not the opacity layer, using the fill layer and not the opacity looked a little bit better. But once again, this is why I'm, I'm saying I'll probably be for a little, the little bit more advanced Photoshop users. Uh, just so they you know how to mess around with these uh, settings here to make it look good this is one that's not going to be quite quite as easy as the other ones but it is easy it's got a cool splash look um, but that's pretty much it the rest is the same yellows the text orange is anything you can be change the color of and the reds you just want to make sure that you clip right here to this layer uh, but the foreground subject, the big one, you don't have to clip it. That one you can just drop in. Uh, anyway, if you have any problems, you can get a hold of me. I appreciate you checking it out, and I'll see you guys around for the next one.